What's up, everyone? This is a destroyer to do nine, and welcome back to Let's Play Eco. Last time we delved through the cave system here in this fortress. We managed to get through quite a bit, and we got back into familiar territory to where Eco first came to this island. We also found the snazzy looking lightning sword, but we still don't have Yorta back. In this episode, we press ever onwards. We still need to find Yorta. But now we're back at the beginning of the game. We are once again Back in familiar territory. So if we go up these stairs, we reach these mechanisms. Oh, what is that? This is definitely where Eco started. In fact, that's where Eco got escaped from. But what is going over there? Shadow creatures? What is happening? Yorda! Wait, am I not allowed? She won't take my hand. Right? If it's a bunch of shadow creatures we have to get rid of. Oh, well, this is actually pretty powerful, but... Why do I get the feeling that I shouldn't be killing these things? This is... I don't know what's happening. Whatever. These things are draining Yorda, then maybe getting rid of them is for the best, but I don't know. Somehow, I don't think I should be doing this. And whatever. I don't have a choice until I can get Yorda to snap out of it. I need to get rid of these things. Stupid thing. still won't snap out of it. There's more of these things. Where are all of them coming from? Ugh. Where are all these shadow creatures coming from? Is there any sort of portal or anything? I don't know. There's just so many shadow creatures. Wait, why are those things lit up? Why are these things lit up? What is going on here? I don't like where this is going. The fact that these shadow creatures have horns... I'd hate to think as to what exactly that these things came from, or even what they could have been before. There's so many of these things. I think the more that these I... The more of these I get rid of, the more of these things that light up. I really don't like where this is going. I really don't like where this is going. If I could just get Yorda to snap out of it. Let's 
still, are these things even attacking me? I don't think they are. They approach me, but then they immediately run away. I don't like having to do this, but... I don't think I'm given a choice. I have to get rid of these things, and then maybe that will snap Yorda out of it. That's the only thing I can hope for. I get rid of the more that these coffins just light up. I really don't like where it's going. And yeah, all they're doing is provoking me, sure, but they're not attacking. I mean, yeah, they chase after me. And then they back off. I don't like where this is going. I also don't want to stray too far away from Yorda. Yeah. <sighs> Whatever. I just need to keep keep doing this and hope for the best. Hope that I'm actually doing the right thing. I have to get rid of all of these things. Alright, it looks like their numbers are thinning, though. Hopefully these are the last ones. Alright, any more of you? I know there's at least one of you left. Where are you? Yorda's not really being responsive. All of these coffins are now lit up. Save for one. Alright, did that do it? something. I think I see why Yorda wasn't being responsive. It looks like she's turned to stone. Then I need to find some way to free her from that prison. My way forward is through here. Now I do wonder... Before we go over that way, my natural sense of curiosity... No, because... Before... Activating that lever opened a way... But the elevator was back down. Alright, so we couldn't go back the way we came even if we wanted to. In which case... We move on. Now where are we? I don't like the look of this place. Oh, I really don't like the look of this place. I really don't like this. Is that a throne? Huh.
the queen. Force field? I don't care. Seem to do something. All right, let's grab the sword. The sword's at least protecting us. Oh, in which case, where'd it go? Yeah, the the sword seems to be protecting us. The thing that basically causes us the game over if Yorta gets kidnapped is her. Still, we have to break through it somehow. There's the sword. And I wasn't close enough to it. Damn it. Alright, let's try this again then. I'm actually sort of wondering if that's ex what I need to do anyway. Wait, do these statues also serve as some form of protection? I think so. So I could in theory- The sword of course protects me. But if I get behind the statues- the statues also protect me. Okay, that is good to know. That is very good to know. All right, try that again, I dare you. All right, gotta move. Sword should be right here. All right. So then we go over here and swing. Get to the sword. All right. Got the sword. So now we go forward. Where's the sword? There's the sword. Was it stuck in the wall? Oh well, whatever. We have the sword now. Her barrier's gone! I also have no idea where the sword went. Where the hell did it go? Oh, it was right beside me. Okay, now we're back here. Her barrier's gone. And thankfully I know where the sword landed this time. Oh, just barely got there in time. Yeah, it seems like she fires more of those... This... Blast of darkness. The further we get along, but... Yeah!
this has been Let's Play Eco. Very bittersweet ending. Eco managed to escape. Yorda's fate was sealed. Just like her mother said it was. It's meant as a vessel for her. And despite Eco finishing off the queen, it wasn't enough to rescue Yorda from her fate. And by destroying the queen, the whole castle falls into the abyss of the ocean. Well, considering that I played through Shadow of the Colossus, it's not all too unexpected, I guess. Now you don't get the happy ending that you hope for. But even so, we at least got part of what we were looking for. In terms of the game itself, I mean, the controls definitely show their age. The way that, even though that this is a remaster on the PS3, you can tell that there's dated controls. Simply because there are so many different button combinations that don't feel intuitive that you normally see in most other games. In most other games, there's a bit of an established control scheme. But with Eco, it's very different. The buttons all have different functions than what you would normally expect, which makes sense considering this was originally an early PS2 game. So... It shows, but... Even still, the message that the game has, just the story and the adventure... To say that that's dated, would be incorrect. Controls, definitely, but not the tale that it wove. A simple story of a boy and a girl trying to escape a prison and in some ways trying to escape their destinies. Yorda being a vessel and Eco being sealed and becoming one of those shadow creatures we fought at the end. And not all stories have a happy ending. So I hope you guys have all enjoyed. And this has been Let's Play Eco. Guess our tale isn't over yet. I have no idea where we're at. We're on some beach. It doesn't seem like Eco's gonna bleed out. I think Yorda tended to that and sealed the wounds. So right now. 
we sort of have our freedom. Now it's just a matter of what we do from here. There's some grass. There's a beautiful beach. A huge cliff face. And yet... I don't really see anything that would be indic indicative of any sort of civilization or anything. But maybe that's for the best. After all, they were the ones that sealed us up to begin with. Simply because Eco was born with horns. But... We keep running. Try to find... No. I guess maybe there are such things as happy endings. Until next time, everyone. Take care.